there's another prime rib roast right there. Yep, $13.28 a pound, $92. $105 for the prime rib roast there. They're all around $100. Holy smolies. Oh, I made a mistake. This is from China? Oh my gosh. It was never from China before, but now it says product of China. Oh my gosh, they ruined it. They, it says Pacific Flounder from China. I, I, I just, I won't buy it again. No way, nothing, nothing from China. I will not buy it. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? In order to keep the price low, you gotta get it from China. Forget that. And these are really good snacks. But like I said, 50 cents off. Why? Why? I mean, that's not a bargain. They they put this big, bold yellow uh, sale sign out here as if 50 cents off is a big deal. They raise the price really high. Then they take 50 cents off and they call it a bargain. That's unbelievable. Such a scam. I was reading a CBS article about the Build Back Better guy. And yeah, we know who he is. And uh, anyways, uh, it was CBS News. And they said that they're worried about him politically because he's in trouble because they want him to run again in 2024, which, oh my gosh, could you imagine another four years of that? Oh, there won't be anything left. And um, so they're worried about they're worried about him. What about us, the working middle class? We're getting screwed. We're getting hammered here. And, and they just don't care. They don't care at all. And with their smiling faces on TV talking about crap like that and we're paying these high prices and in the store we're paying for everything at the gas pumps i know the gas is down now it's down now but i don't believe it's going to stay down i think that's just a ploy that's that's my guess right there you know just throwing us a bone you know here you go keep quiet guys but it but it's still high compared to uh three four years ago but anyways we're at sam's club here today we're going to see what kind of a madhouse it is and you know this is the day before thanksgiving and then the day after thanksgiving black friday oh i'm going to try and get in the stores and my wife and i we're going to try it in the morning and, and see how crazy it is so let's head into sam's let's check some prices see how we're getting screwed let's have some fun once we walk in the store i can see the the silver foil pans 15.48 on sale why do you need 18 of them why that's the problem look at the plastic plates 14.98 and here's your here's your plastic cutlery 11.68 more paper plates for ten dollars plastic cups 12.78 here's some sparkling red grape 8.98 Hot chocolate bombs. Oh my gosh. $9.98 for the dang things. And look at this. Here's a Budweiser com I, uh, a, a compact refrigerator here. I like the I like the Budweiser emblem, but I don't like the price for $149. Here's a cookware set ceramic, $159. That might not be too bad, but I got a feeling it's it's made overseas. <laughs> How do you want to bet that one? Anyways, a Fat Max charging system this isn't bad this you can keep on a boat keep in your car and charge your car for $89 I actually think this is a good thing to have right here that's the only good thing that I've seen so far it doesn't look like they've sold any of these European cookies or any of these butter cookies here any of these shortbread cookies it doesn't look like they've sold much of this stuff I don't know why I maybe because it's crap <laughs> light up. I don't even know what this thing is. Look at this festive tin filled with milk chocolate Swiss truffles. Oh my 1598. I mean they'll push anything on the American public right? Let it snow. I don't even know what this is at all. 998. Here's the big trees. 469 for this thing right here. What size? A 12 foot tree for 469. Would anybody pay that for that tree? And who has a 12 foot ceiling? Yeah, the top 1% <laughs> or someone paying a high uh, electric bill because you have 12-foot ceilings and you have to heat all that or cool all it. Cool it all or heat it all, depending on where you live. And $349 for this one. Unbelievable how cheap that looks for $350. Then you got the Nutcracker guy, the 6-foot Nutcracker. How much is this guy? $299 for the Nutcracker. Oh, man. And 199 Santa's on sale. <laughs> they can't sell them. I'll have to say that I think this is a good buy. They're uh, lump charcoal, the good charcoal, right here, 9.98. And uh, for cooking, 15 pounds of charcoal right here. Unbelievable. Uh, chemical free here is what it says. Premium hardwood lump charcoal. I like that. 9.98 for people who don't use gas. 
in natural hardwood. Look at this lump charcoal, $22.98 for a 30 pound bag. And here's the Kingsford right here. The only thing with this is I don't like to use any lighter fluid on it because that puts that right on your food. But 40 pounds of this, look at the price, $19.98 for the scan and go. And here's some of the match light. I would never use this because of all the chemicals in there. And there's no way. And it's $25. And here's low and slow, more of the match light stuff. I, I, don't, I don't care for any of that crap. But anyways, there's your prices on your charcoal. Oh, here's some pellet. If anybody has a pellet stove, and I like the idea of them, but I don't know what the pellets are made. 40 pounds of pellets right here. Hardwood pellets, smokehouse blend. Blend of hickory, oak, maple, and a cherry wood. 40 pounds, Hood River, Oregon, $14.98. I think that's a bargain right there. For Pellet stoves are becoming a lot more popular these days. I'm thinking of getting one, but I need to research the pellets to find out what they're made with. I don't want any, any poison in it. You know what I mean? None of the candy prices have come down. It's still $44 for this for this uh, milk chocolate, the M&M's right there, and the Pops right there. $14.42 is about the only bargain I see. Tootsie Pops. Snickers are $44.98. That's $45. Look at the prices on the Hershey's. I love Hershey's, but look at that $31 for that. Three Musketeers, Twix. I grew up with these, and the ice cream truck would come down the road, and these were frozen. The Three Musketeers were the bomb. I love that. And the Milky Ways. You can't beat a frozen Milky Way bar, but $34 for it. And the Butterfingers. Why? What makes a Butterfinger? Better not lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Well, I won't. Not at this price. No way. $36 for that. Then Kit Kats. $33.98 for Kit Kats. Unbelievable. My mom's favorite. She used to love these Almond Joys all the time. But look at the prices. All $33. I know they're big boxes, but they're big prices too. And they still can't sell this crap either. Either all these Reese's. $57.98. <laughs> they just can't get rid of it. Well, who's going to buy it for that price? My gosh. This Heinz Ketchup, $10.98. This same ketchup was $12.98 at, um, at Costco, but here it's $10.98 for this ketchup. That's a good buy right there. I tell you, it's cheaper than... Well, Sam's has always been uh, cheaper than Costco. And the mayonnaise is on sale right here. Here's a good buy. Home and Squeeze Mail, eleven eighty eight, three bucks, three bucks off for this right here. Oh, it's always upside down, but look at that, eleven eighty eight for the the Squeeze Mail. And then the Duke's Mail right here. You get a half gallon of the Duke's mayonnaise, eight forty eight. There's no label on this one. I tried to show it, eight forty eight for that. I think this is the same price at Costco. And here's the Kraft, five ninety eight for this. This is a deal made with cage-free eggs <laughs> they keep pushing that stuff why didn't they just say farm raised eggs or whatever organic but cage-free eggs 598 that's still a good buy right there and here's some mccormick mayonnaise what's the difference here what is why is this eleven dollars and 34 cents mayonnaise mayonnaise oh it's imported I, i'm not sure what this oh with lime juice eleven dollars and 34 cents no thanks i'll put that back and they're big bags of uh, bulk rice right here. Basmati. I just love the name. Basmati. 20 pounds is 1968. And this is what we buy right here. And because my wife, my wife's from the Philippines and, and she grew up on rice. And I tell you what, she could really cook rice. If you if you let me cook rice, it's gonna either stick to the pan or it's gonna be soggy. <laughs> and here's jasmine. This is really good too. So these are the two that we buy, the jasmine and the basmati. And this is 25 pounds. So it's under a dollar a pound, $23.98. Here's your long grain, 50 pounds. 50 pounds for $20, $23.98 for your long grain rice. I think these are deals right here. We've gone to the, uh, what's called the uh, uh, Oriental Market, and you're gonna pay a lot more because you're in a market. Well, you're in a bulk store here, but uh, these are some good deals right here for the rice. Now I'm trying to look at this. This is grated Parmesan cheese, and it's $6.48. Let me hold it this way. Grated Parmesan cheese. Now, someone says they put filler in this stuff, and you get a pound and a half of it. But look at the discounts, 50 cents off, then $1.50. It comes out to six forty eight. dollars Try and buy this at Walmart or buy it at Publix. My gosh, it'd be probably $11 or $12 at Publix. But six forty eight dollars here at Sam's for the Parmesan. And, of course, I showed you the difference between the Ragu and the Prego. It starts out with water puree, and then the, ragu, or then the Rayos right here. 
it starts out with uh, the first ingredient is of course Italian whole peeled tomatoes $9.98 and they had it on sale at Costco and I bought two jars right there these are the 22 ounce jars and Costco has I believe the 24 ounce jars yeah that's what that's the difference is does anybody remember when um, your mom made these peanut butter cookies or 648 you get three 7.5 ounce containers in here to make these peanut butter cookies and you know how they get the crisscrosses you put a fork in it this way and that way I love peanut butter cookies and my mom would make them for me and you know I'm a baby boomer so <laughs> I remember that stuff and here's stove top stuffing I see people throwing this in their carts you get six boxes of these and people people just throwing them in for the turkey I'm not gonna stuff my turkey I'm gonna cut it up and 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 do it different uh, this year but uh, 791 for that big box I still think that this pancake mix buttermilk buttermilk pancake mix 748 for 10 pounds and we sent several of these to the uh, Philippines for my wife's sister I still think it's a good bargain and I can see the maple syrup on the other side and we're gonna check that next and then I see the high fructose corn syrup over there too but uh, and here's some of the Kodiak I haven't tried this and I'm not gonna spend twelve dollars and ninety eight cents on something like this because you get half as much as this so why would I buy it and there's the pancake mix and here's the maple syrup $12.98 and uh, we were Skyping with my uh, my wife's sister in the Philippines and we were watching to make the the, the um, pancakes and they had that maple syrup on the table it's really neat to see that and here's the other stuff that's high fructose corn syrup but it still says Aunt Jemima right there see it that's still Aunt Jemima I thought they had to take it off the label but they didn't $6.78 for that let's check the cereal uh, look at this 688 this used to be a lot cheaper but you know it's still cheaper than going to Target or Walmart and uh, of course the Millville like I, I showed in the Aldi video Millville is a good brand but 822 for this Honey Nut Cheerios see the boxes that's that's pricey right there frosted mini wheat 776 honey honey bunches of oats 768 for that oh it's with almonds Raisin brand 732 and then the special K. This is 9.99 at uh, the same box at the um, Costco. Just pricey. I don't know what this stuff is. Straw banana nut cereal. You get 20 ounces for 12.98. <laughs> I don't think so. There's your crunch berries. This always hurts the roof of my mouth when I bite into it when I was a kid. Strawberry uh, milkshake frosted flakes 7.98. Here's the checks. I do like checks right there. 7.98. Fruit Loops, my gosh, eight fifty-eight. I grew up on all this cereal. Then the Lucky Charms, I'd eat the, I'd eat all the marshmallows out of it. <laughs> then I'd pour more in, and then I'd stick my hand in the box and try and pull out all the marshmallows. <laughs> my mom didn't like me doing that. And then the Frosted Flakes, regular, they're great. Seven eighty-eight. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I do like this, and I add extra cinnamon. Seven ninety-eight, only fifty cents off. But anyways, there's your cereal prices, and they have a ton of them. They just have a ton of cereal here. Holy smolies. I'm just looking at the different protein bars. And look at this. Why would they just get 50 cents off on something? 646, 50 cents off. It's 15.96 for that. Why do they just why do they do that in 15.94? This used to be about $12. And now look at it. Price is going up 15.94 and this stuff here. Another 50 cents off 11.98 as if it's a bargain. It's not a bargain. And these are really good snacks. But like I said, 50 cents off. Why? Why? I mean, that's not a bargain. They, they put this big, bold, yellow uh, sale sign out here as if 50 cents off is a big deal. They raise the price really high. Then they take 50 cents off and they call it a bargain. That's unbelievable. Such a scam. Let's check out the members, Mark. Orange juice, 578. You know what? I don't think it's too bad. And there, there's a lot of pulp in this, too. It's right in the bottom, if you can see that. And they look at this 52 ounces you can't make it a half gallon because you know you're gonna pay more and you're gonna get less 578 for that and there oh there's more of it they have a ton of it right here and then this I bought this simply orange and it simply is not good it just it has a fake taste to it no this just I don't recommend this stuff simply orange pulp free absolutely no taste I'll take the members mark but 697 for that Oh, they do have the uh, Jimmy Dean links on sale. Two dollars off, seven ninety eight, and I actually do like these. I know I'm going to get comments on this stuff, but um, I do like these Jimmy Dean links right here, seven ninety eight, and down here the patties. 
this is really good stuff. I like I like the Jimmy Dean links. Like I said, I know I'm going to get comments, so let them fly. Seven ninety eight. Then you have the turkey. Seven ninety eight. That's not bad. I mean, it's really good stuff. I like it. Let's check the let's check the bacon. Fully cooked bacon is fourteen forty eight. And how much do you get? You get seventy two slices, and it's ten ounces. <laughs> Look at this. Ten ounces. Hometown original. Fourteen forty eight for that. My gosh. Here's the Crescent Pillsbury, Pillsbury uh, Doughboy rolls, and I told my wife I should have bought them, and now I'm going to get them. Right here, six forty-eight for the guys. Oh, I like this. This is two pounds, and my wife said, "What are they?" I said, "They're Crescent rolls." Once you put them in the oven, my gosh, I'm going to get some of these guys. Six forty-eight for that. I like it. I, I consider this a bargain. Three dollars off, not fifty cents. I like this. And look at this. Here's your whipped cream. Uh, members mark whipped cream $7.98 and looks like people have been buying this stuff up and you get three three big guys like this look at that original dairy whip topping right here three 15 ounce cans $7.98 try getting that at Publix there's no way you'll spend five dollars for one of those here you get three of them I consider this a bargain $7.98 and they have mountains of beer here <laughs> it's for the holidays 24 29.46 for Corona. I know I'm a little dyslexic here. Look at Mandelo. Look at this. 29.46 for that. 26 for this. Corona Light. And I would never spend that amount of money for a light beer. 29.96. Here's your Corona Extra. Extra is the price. 29.46. And they have the Hawaiian rolls, and and we're just about out. Look at all the Hawaiian rolls. They really have a lot. 6.88. The price has gone way up. Just check your dates and, and, and grab one. Because they're they're just delicious. I love the guys. Let's go check the bread. Here's the Sara Lee hamburger and hot dog buns. $3.58. That's a good buy right there. Absolutely a good buy compared to the ballpark. But these are a little bit bigger. $4.42 isn't too bad. Nature's own. $4.68. But you buy the Martin's potato rolls. They taste good, but are they worth the $12 or <laughs> $12? The seven dollars and twelve cents for that i i don't know i really like the sarah lee for the price but i just won't spend seven dollars on uh any of these i just won't do it now they do have the crab legs on sale here and they, they must be in season thirty dollars off two pounds of the king crab legs look at this they're monsters holy smolies look at the size of these guys 39.98 you get two pounds so that makes it 20 bucks a pound and then they have the sea scallops right here. Ah, this is not a bargain to me. Not a bargain at all. Sea scallops, a pound and a half for $29.98. I know they're wild caught from the North Atlantic, but still, 30 bucks for a pound and a half bag. Put in the comments below, would anybody spend that amount of money on it? And I'm sure there's going to be some people, but it's not going to be me. I think this is a bargain. Three pounds of wild caught flounder for $15.98. I really like this and I bought this a lot. Three pounds of flounder and it's wild caught, skinless, boneless, individually wrapped and it's from, oh my gosh, you know what? Oh, I made a mistake. This is from China? Oh my gosh. It was never from China before, but now it's this product of China. Oh my gosh, they ruined it. They, it's a specific flounder from China. I, I, I just I won't buy it again. No way. Nothing. Nothing from China. I will not buy it. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? In order to keep the price low, you got to get it from China. Forget that. Here's a real bargain right here. These um, Marie Calendar's chicken pot pies. Regular fourteen dollars, five dollars off. Eight ninety eight. Look how many you get. You get eight chicken pot pies in here. Holy smokes! This is five pounds for eight ninety eight. You can't beat this at all. My gosh. This is a real bargain. This this is heavy. Five pounds of chicken chick I can't put back chicken pot pies for eight ninety eight. You can't pass that up. And I love these. I love chicken pot pies. You know who makes a good pot pie? Believe it or not, is Bob Evans. And Bob Evans. And these taste just the same. They're delicious. That's a good buy right there. And they do have their silver foil on sale. I don't know why you need so many of these. Uh, these baking pans right here, table pans, $15.48, $11.98 for the little guys. I don't know why you need so many. And $17.68, this is the cheapest you're ever going to get it. It used to be this below this at a regular price. Now they take $5.30 off, and they call the silver foil a bargain. 
and actually right now this is the cheapest you're ever going to get it 1466 for the 18 inch heavy duty you get 300 square foot here and you get 500 square foot here and if you go into the store any store Publix Walmart Target you're going to get 225 square feet and it's going to be 1199 but here you get two of these for 17 68 that's a bargain unbelievable for the silver foil but it's a bargain let's check out the milk and the butter prices members mark one percent is 335 the fat free is 298 and the two percent is 357 and the whole milk is 392 holy smolies that's not bad carry gold is 1088 for 24 ounces Two pounds was on sale for the same price at Costco, but regular was 14. Holy cow. Four pounds of the members mark butter is 412. And the unsalted is is I don't know what why the price is different, but $13.92 for that. That's gone up two bucks. And uh, I'm gonna buy Kirkland the organic next time instead of the carry gold. I think carry gold is overpriced, and someone said the Kirkland tasted better. Let's check some of their beef prices. The prime beef here. 1748 for the ribeye. Oh, a little pricey. The beef tenderloins are how much? 2448. My gosh. I don't know. I've seen better looking tenderloins, but look at this. 50 bucks for the tenderloins. I know they're tenderloins. And the prime rib row, $60. And how much a pound is it? 12 1274 a pound for the prime rib roast. There's another prime rib roast right there. Yep, $13.28 a pound, $92, $105 for the prime rib roast there. They're all around $100. Holy smolies, I can't afford that. Thin cut, right here, ribeye, $13.98. I like them thin cut. And um, $13.48 for the regular ribeyes. Then the, the cowboy, this is a waste of a steak, too thick. Here's some of your skirt steak, and uh, if you marinate it, it's good. And cut against the grain, $9.98 a pound right here. And this rib, these ribs right here on the barbecue are just delicious. $8.98, but you know beef has gone way, way up. And here's your chuck roast, $5.98 a pound. But you gotta buy two of the monsters, look at that. It's really busy here. Your Angus beef all stew, stew meat cut up, $4.98 a pound. Not too bad, actually, for beef cut up but this whole package is 16 bucks but 4.98 a pound and it looks good that's not bad here's all their pork chops and i think these are a bargain right here a dollar 98 look at that and you get what nine pounds in here 17 dollars for this 16 for this 13 for this look at how many you get a dollar 98 a pound i think this is one of the best buys that you can get and um where's some of the better better ones 288 they're just a lot thicker right here center cut then your tenderloins are, look at that, $2.98 a pound, $2.90, this is $11.56, look at that, the tenderloin, holy cow, $3 a pound, that's a good buy right there. But their pork chops, this is one of the better buys here at uh, Sam's Club. I always like to show the seafood because everybody likes to see it, and I do too. Mahi Mahi, $10.98 a pound, or the Ahi Tuna, <laughs> here's the Bahi Mahi, <laughs> and that is $8.98 a pound too, you know, none of this is from the United States, so, uh, this one's from Turkey, I can't believe it, it actually says product of Turkey right here, country of origin, $8.98 a pound for steelhead trout, I just can't believe it, and the only thing good right here is their, their cod, a great catch. It's farm raised. How can it be a great catch? In their cod. This is still oh, it went up to 1098. Their cod went, oh that's orange ruffy. Orange ruffy, 1098 a pound, 2240. Product of New Zealand. Wild caught. I, I can go with that. And their cod here, 898, $19.58. Wild caught in the USA in the Bering Straits. This is still look at that big hunk of cod right there. There's another one below it, but this is still a good buy for their cod and their tilapia there's no way uh it comes from brazil farm raised uh-uh but the cod that's a good buy right there here's something that didn't sell last year and it isn't selling this year and it's smoked turkeys and look at the price of the smoked turkeys forty dollars for that smoked turkey they're 350 a pound nobody likes these they'll end up tossing these things out i'll come back in here friday and these things will be discounted and the dates will be expired on them. It says used by 1226, though. 
but 348 and they haven't sold hardly any of these guys unbelievable for smoked turkey nobody wants the darn things here's another good buy on the uh, Ritz crackers right here seven ninety eight two dollars off this isn't a bad deal and you get three pounds of the Ritz crackers for seven ninety eight and uh, look who I spotted hon <laughs> how we doing did you find anything French toast French toast where you want to show me here's the here's the crescent crescent rolls I got I was telling you about 698 I'm gonna get it I'm gonna try it. you know I'm a bread guy <laughs> yeah not bad oh my wife is showing me the the French toast sticks 848 like this and so what do you get 848 and you get three pounds of, what do you think hon you like them Let's try them. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Okay, why not? It's only money. They actually look pretty good. If we use real maple syrup, I'll like them, hon. We have maple syrup at home. We don't? Well, we need to get some. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap up our uh, Thanksgiving uh, shopping haul here at the Sam's Club. You know, we got in here about 8.30, and it really wasn't that busy. But, you know, this place is going to be jammed today. All the turkeys were gone except those smoked turkeys for three forty eight a pound that nobody wanted. So, anyways, I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scout the Real Economy. We'll see you.